What's up, Split Game friends? Welcome back to the channel, and mostly welcome back for another movie review. And today's review, we are going to talk about the very first MCU movie, and that is one and only Iron Man. Yes, I'm going to view. I'm reviewing Iron Man that came out back in 2008 and that's gonna be awesome so before we go I just want to give a massive thank you to those people who commented on my on my the Batman movie review and also the own towers so thank you so much to those who commented I really appreciate it and and thank you for supporting me and keep supporting me. So and that's really great. Another thing, um I wanna give a mass give a shout out to those people this one those people who who um subscribe and ever that that's really cool. So and also watch the videos. Thank you. So I keep watching, it's great. You, you guys are awesome. So, no further ado, let's review Iron Man 2008 and let's get right the video, shall we? So, Iron Man, um, Iron Man was, was my second MCU uh, movie I watched. The very first MC movie, MCU movie I watched was The Incredible Hulk, and and, and that's that will be the next, and that will be the next movie that I will review next, and that could be great, yeah. So let me put it close for you guys, and that could be great, yeah. So that I was just a bit, a bit, a bit tired, um, so. What do I think about this film? Um, the film is awesome, and it does with with Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, um, Terrence Howard as Rhodey, James, A.K.A. James Rhodes, Jeff Bridges as Abadiah Dane, and Gwyneth Potro who played who played the loving dress Pepper Potts and that's really cool. So So um I really love Iron Man. Um I, like I said well like I said in my previous videos if you heard me saying this, I, I, I said this, I, I'll say it a lot of times, I'll say it again. Iron Man is one of my favorite heroes in the, in the Marvel Universe, especially MCU. Because he's awesome and he died off. So, and that's really cool. So, I love the Iron Man suit and that is this suit here. That's it there. That's the Mark 3. There is three suits in this. There is Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3. And that's really cool. And and, and I really love um, Robert Downey Jr.'s performance in this. He played Toy Dodge really, 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 really well. And that's really cool. So, so let me talk about the story. Um, the story is really cool because it's because it's Iron Man's origin story. So basically, in the beginning, um, you got Humvees and um, Humvee driving driving in the desert, somewhere like in the desert, and 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 in one of the Humvees, Tony Stark was in there. With a bunch of soldiers, and he was um 
he was there like he, I know he was sitting there talking and they want to take his picture he was doing near his peace sign and that was really cool and but the but one hobbies actually got um destroyed because it got blown up or exploded by an unknown ambush wow so so all the soldiers got killed joined got came out and he actually came out of the humvee and he got um away he, he got in the way of the crossfire okay so he got away the crossfire and he actually um, got caught by shards of metal that went to his chest and and he passed out right it's full of blood so 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 now it's going 24 hours earlier before that so it now shows um a award ceremony for Tony Stark. So basically, um, in this, he's a billionaire, he built up his, he built weapons for the government, for the army, and he actually got reward for that. But, but he didn't realize, Tony Stark wasn't at his award. But they would do a reward for him, but I'll be there, Dyer staying as he um, died reward for him. Because Tony was at a casino playing games. And that's typical of Tony because that's what he do. Um, Roddy wasn't very happy because he, like, look, he's like, look, I present you a reward in a ceremony and there you are playing. You know, they didn't know playing cards and that, and he's like, "Oh, come on, boy, we're just having fun." So, so, so then I'm not going through that through um, details. So then you um, see, um, then you see Tony talking to his journalist, and then he invites her over. In the same way, he having a whoopee whoopee, and you guys, were, you guys, what am about? So he had that. Um, the next day, she actually um, woke up, and there was Pepper Potts actually met her, meets her, with her clothes in hand, and she said, um, I I think she said, here's your clothes now get out, because Tony's um mansion is is at Malibu, Miami, and that's really cool. So Tony, um, if I remembered, actually, um, do all the things, all that kind of stuff. But he actually uh, was sent to Afghanistan after Afghanistan to present his newly um, missiles that we did for the army that's what he did um, so as that's done he presented the uh, missiles and and then after that um, he had a phone call for of, of the of the thing uh, about something about, about something and then there was then George Stover and Humvee and Humvee you yes, see the scene from the beginning got exploded and get boom but but that's where it but that's where the scene cut to right so now cut to to um Tony actually um got fitted with a a, a device on his chest trying to trying to save his life so he was he woke up in his cave and he was with these um, other captives named Yusuf 
and Yusuf was there to help Tony to build a metal that what they wanted to do. And the, the this um terrorist guy Mo group wasn't happy because they asked him to build a missile and he won't do it. So throughout, throughout that scene, um the, down his introduction, Tony started of what why the what they want me for and everything. But they actually asked to build a missile, he went no. So they, they dunked his head in the water, then they came outside, asked him to build it, and it's the only way to grant his freedom. So he said, no I won't. So so there's a scene there where Tony actually was building, but the day before he was building a missile, but he wasn't guys, we build a missile, okay? He wasn't build a missile. Um, so he didn't build a missile. Because he was building, he was building a, a awesome, awesome suit. He was building a suit, and because, because this is like a montage where he was hammered away. He's like a blacksmith, like hammered away in that, and that was really cool. And he he made his made his um helmet. It was cool, and sorry. And then he um then he um if I remember it got um uh, oh yeah he actually got into the soup because the soup was powered up in by the computer and the terrorists Finally realized what he's doing. They went in there to do the kill him, but Yusuf actually took out some of them, went out, and he got actually just shot. So Tony Stark actually actually um got actually powered up, and his suit is made out of steel, and he got flame flowers, really, really cool, and he actually knocked everyone out. He knocked everyone out. It was so cool. Then, throughout the movie, um, Tony went back to to Tony escaped. Um, he got found by the U.S. Army. He went back to the U.S. Um, to a conference. He said he's not doing missiles anymore, weapons, because he changed. And then he began building suits. He did one suit mark two, where he did this um demonstration. To see if he can fly everything, it was pretty funny. Like one of his um two two um things he got got a camera and what the other one got a fight sensor. A fight sensor is a fight is a screen sensor. I forgot what, 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 what I don't I, I don't know what I'm saying. So this is that one of them uh fighting sensor is him, one trying to uh, record everything. Um, he tried his best to keep failing but then he built, then he fit in his whole suit. He did a flying, a flight test. It was great. Then, then, as landed, went through his garage. <laughs> he went through his garage, guys. Went through his garage. Oh my god. He landed and <laughs> he asked one of the robots to ask him to for him. He went, ah. Oh. Then, after that, um, he was, um, then, his assistant came. Just um, helping him and think. He went to this um, party. Before that, he actually um, tried to paint. So he paint the. Um, so he made this mock free. Painted mock free red and red and gold. And that was the, the Iron Man colors. And then he goes to his party, where 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 I'm um, staying. Uh, I'm there. Things there. And also, um, Pepper Potts was there, and also Agent Coulson, who from Shield. That was awesome to see him there. And Pepper find it awkward that Tony's her boss dance with her, but I don't. But some other guys, I don't find it um, awkward for her, but but it, but it, 
but he likes stats for everything. So, so, but, but basically, um, Tony actually likes her. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty touching for him. And he went outside, talked about everything, talked about the personal life, everything. And then, um, Tony went back home. But he didn't know that the terrorist group actually terrorizing people in in own country trying to look for men and things. But the government were saying who were helping and things. Tony um decided to suit up as Iron Man. He suit up he very first suit up and <coughs> he actually uh, went over there. He stopped him, he blew up a tank he stopped one guy, and yes, he did everything. He he said if one guy, he said if one guy from them would be nice with, with, with his son. That's really, that's really that's really cute. And then Tony went back. He actually had a dog fight with um with the F twenty twos. That was Rhodey's um army men. So well, his his men. And Rhodey wasn't happy because he thought, um, or oh, Tony telling him, oh, I'm driving and everything. But Rhodey's like, huh, you're lying. So he said, oh, that's me and everything. So they, one of them said, well, they, they said, he looks like a man. And so they did barrels and that. So one, <coughs> well, let me have a little, little drink first. So one of the um, F-22 Raptors actually got blown up and, and the guy actually ejected but the parachute didn't work so Iron Man went down, punched, punched through the mechanism, the mechanism of the parachute and he saved the guy and then he told Rhodey oh it's um, train at the side I think because Tony wanted to keep his identity secret and everything, everything's all, all, all good but the real <coughs> bad guy in this is Abdel Stain. He actually, um, he met up with the terrorists and he asked them to build his build a replica um, prototype of his suit. And no, he the one got to start capture everything. It was all all him, because he built a, a prototype suit of the Mark One, and and he calls it Iron Monger. So basically, he needs a power source. So he actually got to start um, archery out on his chest, and but there's no other one except the one that uh, have a part to him. Uh, Pen Potts was very worried about him. Um, she, she asked Rhodey to go see alright. Rhodey actually found him on the floor and picked, picked him up and he gave him that. Gave him, the robots gave him that uh, Arfiata and then he showed up and then he said to him, He said, What do you want me to do? And he went, Keep, keep the dice clear. So he went. I'm gonna think as they got into the suit, he went havoc. Then there was a fight scene between him and Tony. Everything, it was cool. And so Tony said, Tony decided to go up into the atmosphere, try to, to install the prototype. So he did that, but for the icy. But he just installed his own suit as well. So he went down and put his suit came off. <coughs> so he went. So he went down. His um, repulsor glove as it came off. His helmet came off. So he had the fight scene on the roof of the art reactor building, and everything went havoc. So he told her what to her parts to explode the building. So. 
So he was on the roof and they they, they actually exploded while was on the roof and killed over there. That was very really, that's very really, um tragic. But but frankly Tony thought they died. The next day there was me going on. Um do you also know who Iron Man is? So Iron Man actually well Tony went on to the press conference. Then he said his famous line famous line said I am Iron Man. That was very cool. Then he took the sense and trade those da 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 Love that that was Black Black Sabbath. Love that love that rock band, very cool. And that was awesome. So guys, that's the story of Iron Man two thousand eight. The film is really cool. I really loved it. I, I hope, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this movie review. So, so once again, Iron Man is a cool film. If you haven't seen Iron Man 2008, please go watch it. It's on Disney Plus, and also, yes, on Disney Plus, <coughs> and on DVD and Blu-ray. So, 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 guys, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe, and like the video, and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourself, stay awesome, bye.